So I feel like this is one of those subjects that my clients ask me all the time. They're like, Jennifer, so what kind of makeup brushes should I be using? I do have favorites for all sorts of different types of categories of brushes, but today I'm specifically talking about my all time favorite brush for the complexion. So that means for your skin. So that is going to be your concealer, your foundation, anything that just gives you a flawless complexion. the application process of this brush so good and luckily there is one brush that I have been using for a couple years now that can give you a flawless complexion with your concealer and your foundation in one single brush and it's this one right here so this is the it cosmetics I'm gonna read it to make sure I get it specifically correct the it cosmetics heavenly luxe complexion perfection brush number seven and the thing that makes this brush so awesome is it's a dual brush. So you can get two things on your face completed with one little brush. So it has the fat side, which is your bigger bristled um, side for your foundation that you can apply that with. You can do tinted moisturizers, you can do BB creams, CC creams, foundations, all of your liquid products with this big fluffy side. And then with the smaller side, with this head that's a little bit more tapered in the middle, it actually is for your concealer. So you can get more precise with your application. You can get it, you know, right underneath your eyes, or you can get on the sides of your nose, or you can get underneath your lip. Um, a lot of times I put concealer above my eyebrow, which this is too fat for that to get it, you know, just right along the top of the eyebrow. So that is the great thing about the smaller side of this brush. So the reason I love it so much is because number one, it's vegan. Second is it is a hundred percent synthetic bristles, which means it's absolutely cruelty free and it's really, really super soft. These bristles, I don't know how they do them. I don't know how they construct them, but they construct them in a way that they are just super soft and great for even like the most sensitive of skin. Um, cause I do have sensitive skin clients and whenever I use this brush, they're like, Ooh, that feels so great. And I'm like, I know it is a great brush. Um, so each side is really, really super soft feels great, feels like brush therapy going on your skin, and it just creates an airbrush-like complexion. Both sides do. This retails for $48. You can get it wherever it cosmetics is sold. You can get it online, you can get it at Ulta. I believe you can get it at Sephora. I'll look online and I will link below in this YouTube video to let you know where you can find this brush. But I would say if anyone has been in the market for a brush, that can do it all and it's just wonderful. It holds up well. Like I said, I've had this for a few years now. As long as you clean it and take care of it, it will last you forever because it is a high quality brush. I mean, it's $48, which seems a little pricey, but when it can do two parts of your face at once, totally worth it in my opinion. And it just, every product I use, whether it be drugstore, prestige, department store products from foundations to concealers, I feel like it just puts everything on, even the cheapest of makeup products it puts it on and makes it look just beautiful and flawless on your skin. So this is the brush I reach for all the time. If anyone asks me what foundation brush should I be using? I'm like, this is it. This is the Holy grail of foundation and concealer brushes. So thank you at cosmetics for making just like the best brush ever. So that's it for today's video. One single product it cosmetics, Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection Brush. And if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful to find out a little bit about a makeup brush, say you're in the market for one, and hopefully this helped you make a decision if this is the concealer and foundation brush you wanted, I would love to hear in the comments below if you enjoyed this, if it was helpful. And even if you've used the brush before and if you like it, leave a comment to let other people know it, what your experience was like with this brush. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love it if you would. So make sure to press that subscribe button. And also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, that's one of my favorite social media outlets. Please follow me on Instagram and I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest. So wherever you are, I would love to see you there. And thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.